If you haven't seen me before, I am Jaap H, expressionist painter from the Netherlands. And this is the painting we have been working on, for, or I have been working on, for the last uh, three movies. Without much ado, I will start finishing this uh, painting. I will speed up anything that goes too slow, so you won't have to sit through hours of uh, painting. Uh, and I am confident we can finish this all in this last movie. So then we'll have four movies. One movie, deep background. Second movie, uh, shapes. Third movie, uh, sort of fixing up the shapes. I've been actually been fixing up a little bit more. Uh, and for the last movie, adding extra dark shapes in this case. And also while thinking about this as a magnet, I was thinking, yes, good title, Animal Magnetism. It needs some stronger shapes. It's nice, but it's also a bit wishy-washy, right? So I put on some powerful black shapes to give it some more oomph. I won't bother you with the details, but believe me, if ever I need it to be strong, it is now. I'm right-handed, so sometimes I rotate the painting to have a better grip on some shapes. Okay. It is the strong black shape that I wanted, but it's also a bit alien. Why? Because it's so... it doesn't have any deep background anymore. Everything's covered up. So what I will do... I will simply thin it out a bit. But I won't thin it out everywhere. So I put, in some, put on some water. Right, see? Nothing in this painting is completely white, completely black, completely blue, completely whatever color. And then suddenly you have this boom, this one element. Well, it's supposed to be boom, but it's not supposed to be that boom. So I'm toning it up a little bit. What happens if I go over this with pink? Okay, so I 
set out to put in strong dark shapes. Now let's have a look. Did I achieve that? Yes, I did. Uh, this one's pretty strong, so it's sort of as a composition. And this all, this corner is sort of vague, so I think I'm gonna do the magnetism thing here. Uh, and then it's finished. Or I will declare it finished. Because that's the thing with this kind of painting, when is it finished? Look over there, there's a little, the, the, the painting with the little lamb. I don't know. I know it's not finished, but don't ask me why, because I can't say. All I know is it's not finished yet. Oh, I hope you liked the little lamb over there. I made it for my grandson, Rocco. I started on it before he was born. And I'll hang it over his crib when he's staying here. Okay, so um, I'll see you. I corrected lots of shapes. <laughs> changed this one, changed this one a lot uh, and I decided to sort of enhance the animal magnetism uh, idea by, with these sort of electrical bands. But before I do that I want to put one more red shape over here. <laughs> So, I have my red shape here. It's white right now, but it will be red. Okay, bye-bye. I was very happy with this uh, white shape. Uh, actually, I was so happy that off-camera I made another one right here. So... Now the next phase is still not quite finished. This little yellow one here that I added. Uh, well, here you see sort of a symbol, symbolization of the animal magnetism. It's gonna disappear here in some other shapes, come back here, and probably return here to come back here. See, I, I originally planned to make this one red, maybe you remember. Uh, so, but it looks so good in white, so I left it like this. So there's two more phases here. I'm going to, you know, accentuate the um, sort of magnetism waves. Let me put it like that. Uh, and then I'm going to probably frame it with some dark framing, um, as is, you know, one of the um, hallmarks of this uh, series, of this body of work. <laughs> As a next step, I will yellow it up and of course I will speed up the movie again so you don't have to watch every second of this. It's nice that we can still see a lot of the deep background here uh, and uh, I plan to show at the end the deep background and the finished painting next to each other so we can see what's still left of the deep background.
So I did some last minute changes before I put on the final, what I call the frame, which is a dark sort of outside, which will make the, make the center uh, more uh, stand out more. To tell you the truth, this is quite scary. Because as you can see, not a whole lot is left from the background. Thank you. 